So there's a few ways that we use the phrase take it easy in English. The first way that we use it would be to tell someone that we think they should calm down. Um, maybe someone is really, really excited like Oscar over there. I think he found a mouse under the snow. If Oscar was acting crazy or going crazy, I could say, take it easy, Oscar. You're just acting crazy. Um, maybe someone is getting angry and you think that they should calm down. You could say to them, take it easy. You need to calm down. Um, we also say this after someone hurts themselves. You could have a situation where someone is playing a sport and they twist their ankle. You could say to them, why don't you sit on this chair and take it easy and I will find someone who can take care of you. So when you ask someone to take it easy, you're asking them to calm down. We also use this though to talk about relaxing. I could say this weekend, I'm not going to work. I'm just going to take it easy. We have another phrase with the word easy in it, sort of, and that is easier said than done. Uh, and this sentence or phrase is a little bit like the phrase I did the other day, uh, that something can be harder than it looks or harder than it seems. Sometimes it's easier to talk about something than it is to do it. I think the best example for this would be raising children. Uh, a lot of people have different ideas about the best way to raise children, uh, but I would definitely say to you that uh, when it comes to raising children, it's easier said than done. That means it's easier to talk about uh, ways that work uh, when you are raising children than it is to actually do it. So again, two phrases for you. Take it easy, which can be used a whole bunch of different ways. And the phrase easier said than done. I think, I'm not sure you can see it, but there is a crow flying by and it is crowing. I think that bird needs to take it easy. Anyways, Bob the Canadian here and you're